All right, now here in India, it's 4.33 p.m. today and I'm yet to see the One UI 7 stable version release. If I go to the settings and tap on software update and tap on download and install, I have not received the stable version of One UI 7 yet. Uh, today it has been released uh, in Korea. They are the first to get it obviously and uh, we were supposed to get this update today uh, here in India and a couple of more countries and I'm still waiting for it. As soon as I get it, I will keep you guys posted. But before that, we have got a couple of important updates on the Galaxy Store here. I want to show you that. Let's go to the update app section here on the Galaxy Store and as you can see, there are a few applications which have got the brand new update. The first important update that we have received is for Goodlock application. The latest version is 3.0.11.1 and here it says improved to get the list of the latest apps in the store immediately after the Android OS upgrade. It's not really clear what this means. We are going to get the list of the latest apps in the store immediately after the Android OS upgrade. Now this may mean that after uh, we upgrade the S24 series uh, to One UI 7, we might be getting a couple of new modules on the Goodlock application. I'm not really sure. Or maybe they have just improved the stability of the application after installing the Android OS upgrade like maybe One UI 7 or any upgrades, we may get the existing list of Goodlock application instantly on the Goodlock app. And it also says improved for app stability and uh, if you look at the uh, date updated, it's 3rd April. So this is an old update. I just received it today and the version number I just mentioned 3.0.11.1. Let me go ahead and update this. Now here is another important update for a uh, home up module. Now this module is a pretty cool module now on One UI 7 because it adds some amazing features but this does have a lot of bugs. It is not really working well on One UI 7 even on the S25 series. I am facing some issues with respect to uh, flickering and uh, app icon issues etc. So this should be fixing those. Let me open the change log here. It says fixed flickering issue on the home screen while using DIY home. So that's a very important fix that we are getting now. Fixed widget errors while using DIY home. Fixed other bugs. And the latest version is 16.0.0.72. And the update date is 4th April. Just a couple of days back this was released and I have just got the update now. Let me go ahead and update this. It's updated. Now let me show you something interesting. Let's go to good luck here. Now you can see Navstar and Quickstar are showing up right here on top. These were not available for the One UI 7 Beta 6 on my S24 Ultra. These were showing up right here at the bottom and those two modules are showing up now on the top because there is update available for both the modules here and also for the Pentastic module. Maybe that is what they mean when they said the list of applications will show up right here on the top. I'm not very sure. Uh, we have two updates here. We also have Pentastic update here. Let me uh, check this out. It says this version supports One UI 7 and later devices. Applied stabilization code of One UI 7.0. Applied new features, custom floating icon. I think this feature should be now available, the custom floating icon. It was not showing up on my S25 series despite updating, despite getting this update for the S25 Ultra. But let me go ahead and update this and uh, let's check if we have got that floating icon feature on Pentastic or not. And we also have enemy star. Let me check the what's new uh, section here. Version 7.0 supports the One UI 7 device, supports One UI 7. And the quick share change log says improve app stability. Now let me go ahead and update both the applications. Let's see if they are going to work or not. Yes, NAV star is now active on One UI 7 Beta 6 itself even before getting the stable version. Samsung has provided the update for Navstar. Let me open Navstar now and see if this works. Yes, we have got NAV star available. Let me turn on Navstar. We've got some important options which we have already discussed in my previous videos about Navstar. This is basically to customize the navigation buttons or navigation bar. We can enable extra gesture settings, allow back gestures in full screen. We can customize the arrows here. We can also uh, change the back gesture sensitivity and we have got gesture handle here. When I enable this, you can see this is the gesture handle, the size of which can be increased or decreased. As you can see, the size is increasing here. If I reduce it, it will be small. If I increase it, it will look this big. Let me set it to medium. We can also change the gesture handle transparency. If I reduce this, you see this is more transparent now and I can also increase this using the slider and it is much more uh, prominent now. So those are the options for swipe gestures and if I select button and enable buttons, you can see it will take me to navigation bar default settings where I have to select buttons and then come back over here 
And now you can see I can enable buttons and I can customize the buttons right here. So you can choose either swipe gestures or buttons. Depending on your requirement, you can enable or disable it. But when you do that, it is going to take you to the default settings and then you'll be able to change these options. So NAV Star is now available on GoodLock for the S24 series even before getting the stable version of One UI 7. And of course the Quick Star is also now activated. We can enable this to customize it and we can customize the Quick Panel here. And we've got loads of options to customize the Quick Panel. We can change the clock settings. We can change the visibility of indicator icons. All these options we have already seen and now this is active on One UI 7 on the uh, ES24 series. So these modules are now active. Now all the modules are showing up here. There is no new module as of now, but let's see once we get the One UI uh, 7 stable version on the S24 series, I will keep you guys posted. I will be posting a couple of more videos on all the new features on One UI 7. So if you're new here on the channel, be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. And do not forget to download our wallpaper application Wallverse. I keep updating this application with loads of uh, new wallpapers for you guys. Both free and premium wallpapers are available. You can go ahead and check out the link in the description. And if you like the app, do not forget to rate it on Play Store. Do give it a five star rating. That encourages me to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys. That's about it. That's all I have here. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.